Hey guys, so today we're going to be stamping with the new Bundle Monster set. This is set number three. I bought this off of Amazon for $21.99 and there was free shipping. When I do my stamping, I like to have my Conan double stamper. I use a gift card or something with the equivalent um, plastic thickness to do my scraping. I have a little cotton round here on, on one of these little clippies. I got this at the Dollar Tree. And I also keep a little dappin dish of acetone. I just got that at Sally's. And today we're going to be using the Simple Colors Snow Me White. So let's use plate number 319. Use this design right here. Picked up really well. And there's the design. I think that looks really good. I'm sure the Conad white polish would be a little more opaque, but so far so good. So I think next we'll use plate 302, and we're going to use this little chick right here. And I'm going to use this Sally Hansen Pacific Blue polish. I never tried stamping with this before. That picked up okay. Might not be able to see it very well. I'm going to stamp over this neon yellow from Sinful Colors. And that stamped out really well. I think that's really cute. Next up, I am going to use plate 315 and we're going to use this paisley right here. And I think I'm just going to use this Wet n Wild black cream polish. That looks great. I'm going to be stamping this right over this hot pink from Neon. This hot pink color from Sinful Colors. That looks so nice. Didn't get a, didn't line it up completely well, but you can see that that stamp turns out really nice. All the intricate details are there. All the little loops, all the lines, perfect. Next up, I'm going to be using my Sally Hansen Quick Color Pen in gold. I'm going to do this heart design right here. As you can see, the image transfers really nicely. I just want to apologize for being out of frame for a lot of the stamping parts. This is my first time doing a stamping video, so I'm still kind of learning the angles. But the image turns out really nice. I think this would be a really cute manicure. And next up, I'm going to use some pink polish from Sally Hansen. I'm going to be doing this lemon design. And you could stamp this with orange, yellow, or green and make them be oranges, limes, or lemons. So I think that's really cute. I'm going to do some pink lemons. And my awkward angle made it so I didn't stamp on my nail completely, but this image is really cute and it transfers really nicely. And next up I'm going to use some chrome polish from Sally Hansen. This is a polish that I've had for a long time. And I'm going to go ahead and do those lemons one more time. And of course it looks really great. And there's a better image with my whole nail stamped. Really fun design for this summer. And next up I'm doing this flip-flop image. I didn't have very good luck with it, but it is a really cute image, so I'm going to try again. Okay, so this is plate 325, and I'm going to go ahead and do the bows up in the corner here. And I went ahead and repainted my nails here. I have from the Wet n Wild Mega Last Collection what cement and on a trip. So I'm going to use my Sally Hansen quick color pen in gold. So the bows look great. Besides for my mistake right there, these look really nice. So this is plate 307 and I think I'm going to do the butterflies here. I'm 
those look nice plate number 321 and I'm going to be doing this flower design really nice stamp there This is a beautiful design. It came out perfectly. Using plate 303 it has all the little kiss marks on it. Looks beautiful. And that came out really nice. It's easy to see what it is. Plate number 315. That came out really nice. So next I'm going to stamp with plate 301 and I think I'm going to use the little bat here. I've been curious to know what he would look like if he was stamped. And I'm going to use my black cream from Wet n Wild. And next I'm going to do plate 311. transferred really well and these are stamping really well some of them aren't showing up quite as nicely because of my awkward angle when I'm stamping I am curious on this little one right here this is love and it has lots of smaller font and that looks really nice it's a really tiny font too. So on plate 308 there's some vegetables. Kind of looks like a little... This is a really cute vegetable one so I'm curious how this will come out. And you can see that looks really good. All the little vegetables and the utensils are really easy to see. So here's a couple still shots of some images. That's the owl image. Here's some candy. And up next is a lace pattern. I do recommend this set. It has a lot of fun images in it. I have a link below to Amazon and Bundle Monster. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.